from Switchfest would be here, right? I can't say they didn't come thinking, oh, maybe Komei will be here. Yeah. And here it, we go. It's tough because, like, they're over there, and I know they're staying, like, right back at the hotel. Obviously. It's way too far. Yeah, it, they might be at WNF. I really don't know, man. I'm not the keeper of the Japanese players, but it all depends on them. I know some of them are staying to be going over to Run It Back, which happens over this coming weekend. So if you guys are fans of the 2G gaming stream here, Run It Back is happening this weekend. Uh, we'll feature some of the Japanese players, and I know the other Japanese players will be going home. But hey, man. Well, so far, we've seen here Vanal versus Nitro. It is the Inland Empire versus uh, one of LA's finest. Vladin's going with his normal Lucina. Mm -hmm. Nitro has been going a lot of Joker lately. Yeah, um, he still has one of the Belmont. It's obviously, you know, as a character, but he's been telling me he wants to practice Joker. Move on to the high tiers. High tier. I'm sorry. Move on to top tiers. Top tiers bring top results. Top results bring top money, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Still, it doesn't appear to be working just yet. Yeah. It's it's one thing that Valadin kind of has as a player is his mindset is ad of adaptation. Uh, I've, I've been hanging out with Valadin pretty often, and, like, we've been talking back and forth about, like, you know, having a top player mentality. Right, right. And him moving on from unranked to being most likely ranked in the next PR season. Valadin's definitely looking to see not just, you know, results. He's looking for personal victories here. Yeah, the early period for SoCal was kind of rough, mm -hmm. and it's looking a lot better now. Elegance yeah. back, and we've got players like Vlad and who are rising up. And not only that, well, the PR season is going to be pretty shaky. Like we may not see Void at number one. We may not see like we might, it might actually be Elegant due to uh, his recent victory at Standoff over in Texas. Yeah, that's right. He he won. Uh, I have some friends over there. Mm -hmm. um, he completely swept the floor with them. Great yeah. tournament, but a lot of people missed it because Switchfest at the same time. Yeah. But hey, man, nonetheless, Elegant still gets a W, and it's great for him even in a region that he loves being a part of. Let's go right back to the line, though. So far, I mean, he's looking to just pretty much go ahead and make sure that Nitro is being oppressed at all times, reads the neutral, get up here with grab. Yeah, he's already Nitro's already on his second stock, Sarah Sam. So this oh, is I a, love that a bad situation. Good use of roll there, especially at the ledge, because he knew, like, okay, I can get away here because he might be coming up with an option. And Aladdin then punish him. platform camping. That's good because you want that. That's something that I don't see a lot of players do, honestly. You do have two options, right? Use your use Angel Platform Invincibility to go ahead and try to grab Joker or deal some damage to him to get the Rebel's Guard down. Or you can go for the honestly safe bet <laughs> and just let the meter run out. I mean, you can't you can't discount the results here. Valadin's really cleaning up. Yeah. Nice, tells himself a forward air. Uh, sometimes we do see him go for side B, stall, and then immediately go for punch afterwards. Great use of... Nice, stalls another nair and a forward air. Nectar's hunting for the Rebel's Guard, but he's just not getting it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what he really needs to turn the game here, right here, right? He's in a bad situation. He nearly died from that forward smash right there. Nice, and we Finally saw... Got some. We saw how, like I mentioned earlier, right? Like, Vladimir likes to stall himself just every now and then with side B, and then immediately punish it. The one thing I do see that Valadin's doing really well against Joker is whiff punishing the whiff punisher. Because <laughs> that's one thing Joker really excels at is whiff punishing, right? Yeah. Like, uh, we can see Nairo, uh, I'm sorry, we can see the Nit um, Nitro's running away, right? Valadin wants to get the forward air and then immediately comes back with dash attack. That's kind of a great whiff punish against his opponent there. Valadin's trying a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. He, like, with, with Joker, you have to be so careful because, like, the, the little gun attacks almost tempt you. Yeah. And you still have to give him respect because the one thing is that take aim, or AKA gun, does not actually amount to a projectile. It actually is registered as a physical move. Luckily, it actually is in Persona. It's registered as its own actual move. Each of the play each of the Persona characters have their own weapon. One, I think one of them does piercing. I can go on and go on. Yeah, this uh, situation oh. is looking very bad for Nitro right now. He's on his last stock. He, he he has to get the kill on Vladin. Uh, yeah. And he doesn't even have Arsene to do oh, it right now. Vladin almost got the deck chase after that. It's a great movement in there. Gets the neutral air, goes off stage. He kind of halts, halts himself back, but I like the fact that he used up B from below the stage because that's going to be really hard to check. Because it's uh, I believe it's it used to be frame one. I think it's like frame two or five. The off stage play there was really nice. Yeah. Nitro got the tech. It just didn't matter. Mm-hmm. So, Valadin's up 1-0. Think there's a possibility of a Belmont? Um, we'll see. Sometimes it comes down to, like, what's, what do you feel comfortable with, right? Like, do I want to play a character I am way more familiar with, right, having played the character so long? Or do I feel like, you know what, this top tier will definitely be the one thinking getting me the victory? Uh, we'll see. It's all about comfort and the way that Valadin has kind of had Nitro's number these past few weeks. With Lucina versus Joker, the trend here seems to be that... They've been playing a lot, I'm assuming. Yeah. 
The, uh, the last two hats, they've kind of been playing pretty, pretty recently. Who I won the last? Uh, n Valadin. Valadin's been winning. Going to the Persona mm -hmm. ult of Battlefield. Nice, kind of stalls himself there on the jump there. That's kind of one thing we do see Valadin do, as you should have seen. I mean, uh, stall your aerials because of the separate, um, late hit of Nair, right? Nair 1 and Nair 2, they will hit you either way. Do you know why assault. Nitro went to Battlefield? Um, it could be the fact that you do have platforms, and Lucina also gets advantage of the platforms, but like if your opponent tries to land on the platform, you can get a punish. Uh, being a smaller blast zone with Joker, right, you're able to get back airs to kill. There's the famous Lafable, yeah. if you can land that as well, where you manage to catch someone on a platform and basically wobble them into oblivion. Mm -hmm. And then platforms aside, right, being a smaller stage in general, right, you're able to kill effectively early, but also Valadin does get a lot to supplement that Yo man. This is already gone. He got a shield break. That's that's death. Yeah, dancing with the stars at that point. Um, so an early, early strong start from Valadin. Yeah. Only at forty-four percent, and he's up a stock. Nice. Try to stall the, the forward air, man. And that's one thing that we do see Valadin go for. Is like he stalls his aerial just a second bit. Is sometimes your opponent may like all shield because they're used to like, oh, he's gonna hit it for now, and just waste that one extra second. And especially immediately just space it a little bit away. He got a little bit too close there, and that was the responsible for the whole string. Still, Valadin hasn't actually gotten any extra credit, so so long as Nitro can close this out very quickly, it will essentially be even. Oh, nice. I like that. He knows how Nitro's going to come from the ledge. At this point, he's kind of a test. Oh, this is pretty solid edge guarding here. Yeah, it wasn't, I'm sorry, it wasn't even edge guard. It's just really great option for him to go forward and then wait for Nitro to either come into a jump or go for the low recovery and then immediately take care of that option. You'll remember, Arsene is already out. You'll remember that if you're losing, that Arsene comes out a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And this is actually not all that great for Nitro just because he was already close to being a normal kill percent. Yeah. And suddenly he doesn't have so much Arsene time. And he's not even getting the kill. Oh, that was not even going to be the sweet spot. It still gets Joker off the stage. Valadin landing with neutral air. I like the fact that every time he goes for an aerial, he picks the right option and then lands back with there because you, you can cover neutral get up that way. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah, look at that uh, whiff punish hit again. He, he, the reason why he goes for that is because like, okay, um, Lucina has a disjoint, right? She has the time to space you she out. He has so much extra attack range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he lets go of the ledge a little bit to get away punish to see how Nitro might be coming in with an aerial or just roll get up at times. Still, Valadin got that kill, so he's now actually up not just one stock, but all full two stocks as well. Mm -hmm. Again, you can't count Joker out because he's Joker and he can come back from the depths of outer space, but this is looking very bad. Still, Valadin at 180%. Yeah. And I was gonna say at that point, like something's gotta get. Forward will definitely. Our Sen could here. touch you with his pinky when you're at 180 and you'll die. Yeah, the damage he does in general. Down throw. Still last stock. He's on our Sen already. Valan's doing a decent job of stalling for time. Actually got some nice hits though over there. Mm -hmm. Managed to knock him all the way to the other side of the screen. And our has gone back to standard neutral. Nice, once again. That's the way Punish knows how Nitro wants to come with an area, especially being so far behind. Nitro's still in this, but it's looking very, very ugly. Yeah, honestly, uh, if he's able to get like a couple. Oh, okay, that's going to be really tough. Yeah, as I, w I was saying that, but it it's looking rougher Happy. and rougher every second. Valadin's ability to go off stage, threaten his opponent, and then they have to pick a neutral getup or a roll getup from the ledge because, you know, they want to come back to the stage. And then he could lands with Nair, honestly, is good coverage because Valadin not only covers a move with another move, but he's covering his opponent's movement way before they meet that option. Something reminiscent of, you know, higher level players, right? They cover a move because they know what that move means to be out there and then your opponent's reaction from that. Still, it's so close to being over. He's Nitro's off the side. He's almost out of our sand. He's had. Oh no! He, uh, he missed the recovery. The infamous pine being pineapple from the stage. Uh, that, that that wasn't even close though. We're in winter semis. Is this best, best of five? It's best of five. Okay. So, so if you guys are wondering back home, um, all semis matches here in SoCal specifically are 
win winners and loser semis and up are all best of five. Okay, yeah, so he still has one more game yeah. to figure something out because he has to figure something out. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's kind of been the trend here in SoCal, right? The rise of the unranked players kind of, like, coming coming up and taking the PR spots. spots. It, it, it honestly, has been the trend here lately. And it's all due to the fact that, you know, some of SoCal's unranked also happens to be some of the finest players being trained by some of the PR players themselves. Like, we have Lumbre and Hockey, um, who have all played with Razo and Nitro himself as well. So it's honestly just having a top player to help those players like learn and understand the game definitely helps them accelerate in terms of training. Okay, so starting off, this is looking a little bit better than last time, if only because Nitro doesn't already have 90% on him. Yeah. But right, starting starting off, things can be pretty smooth, and then they can easily transition to some, a very bad time. And it all depends on how Nitro continues to play around Valadin, right? Because now we've seen that he has spacing, and he's, it's his opportunity to understand, like, I have things like Gun, I have things like Aha. If I can move in and out of Valadin's range with my speed as Joker and force him to make the approach, then I can start making with punishes right. Joker controls the immediate area in front of him. He can control a little bit further away. But so long as Valadin is keeping him in the sword range, mm -hmm. it's just so ugly. Yeah, and like you said it right, keeping him in the sword range, Valadin was so close to the force smash. Still, our has gone, so suddenly... Nitro is the one at kill percent. There it is. <laughs> I say it, and it doth occur. Let's see here. Now, uh, he gets the spacing here, and he might have been able to punish for a lot in here, but I do like the fact that at this point, Nitro's kind of playing the safe game here. He doesn't want to commit to probably going for a back air if a is going to be that close. Valadin's using a nice string of aerials, manages to rack up already 38 damage in just a string of hits. Um, already back to Arsene, which effectively means that Valadin can die from anything. Here, yeah. Right? Back air, but he's at center stage and he manages to oh, live. Oh, great use of the actual. That's the thing about, like, Lucina, Marth, Krom. A, lo a lot of the fire cast characters. Yeah, their right? up is so exploitable. Yeah, especially if you have a counter, too. I, I recall all of the sets I've seen of uh, MKLeo just using that to just punish all sorts. Like, yeah. even Samsora and uh, Peach. Yeah. Peach even can, uh, if your character has a counter like that, you can actually punish Fire Emblem characters to cast the Fire Emblem characters out for their recovery. Minus a few of them, like Robin. Yeah, but punishing Robin's up B isn't, isn't exactly the most difficult task either. Mm -hmm. Good parry. At this point, right, when usually when you see an opponent a parry your moves, that starts to condition you to actually stop going for it, right? Because your thought process would be like, okay, he's parrying it, so he knows I'm being predictable, so I don't want to use this for a little while. And then Valadin, great spacing there. When once again, he predicts here. So that he's using the parry as kind of a mind trick. Yeah. Well, not only that, it's it's good to just parry, right? Because you get the frame advantage. Yeah, over you it. get the frame advantage. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But not only that, you're able to just condition your opponent, like, okay, hold up, if I'm getting parried for the same move that I'm trying to make an approach with. I definitely don't want to keep doing that. Nice that makes using a lot. there. Still, this is... It's not quite a repeat of the last few games, he, especially because it's not three stocks to one. Mm -hmm. Still, Valadin has a solid lead here. He just needs to bring it home, and he's in winner finals. Yeah. The one thing that Joker is able to do is excel with is his speed right over a lot of characters, but Lucina is also relatively fast. So she's able to kind of keep up with Joker in a way. And the way that the line is super understanding of like, okay, if Nitro's gonna go for jackpot, which is um, which for those of you guys who don't know, jackpot's the move from the Marvelous Capcom Three where Dante shoots the guns down. Joker does about the same animation. Um, therefore, we call it jackpot. If he predicts him going with jackpot, which usually some Joker means do, that's when we kind of see the line whiff punish the whiff punisher, right? Mm -hmm. Still, this is actually a lot more even right now. There. There, there's 40% between them, but with our send out, that's nothing. The thing is, is our send isn't going to be out for that much longer. I like this adaptation here from Nitro because we see him even use gun, and we even see him use for Aegon, right? He's looking for an opportunity to get Valada to approach him, and then finally Nitro can start with punishing Knight, um, Valada for those options. Oh, but that's the one thing that I feel that Nitro should have been predicting at this point of the game here because that's the way of Aladdin has been edge guarding. He's been going for down tilt. He goes off stage. What does he land with? Nair. Because he knows Nair 2 can be the one thing that hits his opponent on the way back to the stage. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. So at this point, right, like he's been throwing out that move. And Lucina is such a 